Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to edit the data which we have fetched in the previous video. So in previous video, we have done how to fetch the data which is available in your database. Before getting into the video, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be getting a notification on it. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started with the video. Previous video code which we fetched here using the for each loop. Let us close this and uh, we are going to work with edit right. Here inside table head we have the tr and th. Copy paste one th. Copy paste it and change this to edit. Here alternative we require that edit button for every data right. So let me close this Instagram thing. So here you require that edit for every data. So what you are going to do here is copy paste one td and just remove this. So inside we are just going to give a anchor tag and tell this as edit and I'll just add a class for this class is equal to btn btn sorry primary. Now let me go reload this check reload you can see you have got edit button for every data what has to happen now is when I click on this edit button it has to take the particular user's ID and go to another page for another page we are just going to tell here as edit.php so whenever I click on this edit button it will go to edit.php Okay, it is going to edit.php which is inside admin folder. So don't forget this according to admin we are doing this uh, right inside admin folder we are going to create one edit.php but here how will it recognize which data it is going to edit. So for that the unique thing always would be id. We have to concatenate id here with the edit page. Let's tell copy this id which we have already fetched and paste it here. So now let us go reload and check if that ID is displaying accordingly. Reload. Now I am going to click on user1 edit. So when I click on user1 edit, it is taking the ID of that user. If you can see here, it is showing 1. Similar way when I click on user2, it will take its ID 2. This is done now. The next thing is we have to create edit.php file. So let's copy this edit.php here and go inside admin folder. Inside admin folder right click create new file and paste this edit.php here. Let's reload. Inside edit.php we require all the admin uh, I mean we require all the sidebar navbar. So what we are going to do is we are just going to include the folders okay so which is there in index page. So here index page we have everything. So let's copy this what is there inside insert.php go to insert.php close this control a control c and go paste it in your edit.php now let's go reload here go back and click on this user 7 edit i'm getting the id and i've got this page in which we have included here we have to change the heading to edit and this back button let it redirect to index and here's instead of save data it is going to be update data let's change all this first so here insert change this to edit data in php instead of save data it is going to be update here also the name just changes to update button. Yeah, that's it. Now let us go reload and check. So we have changed the heading. We have changed the name. Here what has to happen is I am clicking on ID number 7. So when I click on ID number 7, I have to get the name of that particular user, phone number and email displayed here itself. Then only if I want to make some changes, I can make that change and update. So here if you have noticed for two datas, we have inserted wrongly which I have told you in the previous video I have inserted manually that is why that mistake has happened so now we will be correcting using this edit button okay so no worries about that to get that what we have to do is just close this container so before card body here open close php let's write the query to get the data so tell 
dollar touch query is equal to select star from table name so let us go and see what is our table name is admin panel copy this admin panel paste it here here we will have where condition because here we are just doing it for particular user so use where id is equal to dollar id and give a semicolon now you will be getting an error on this dollar id you have no variable created with dollar id so what you have to do is dollar id is equal to dollar get of we are getting this particular id from here go to index here inside index make sure before this is equal to you are giving that id so id is equal to that particular id so when i reload here again and click on this user 7 i am getting this ignore this for now that is uh, the mistake which we have done so let's copy this id and we are getting the id to edit page so paste the id here and give a semicolon now this query makes sense where we are selecting from all the data where id is particular id which user is selecting fetch query run is equal to using mysqli query function just connect your database which is connection and pass this fetch query variable add a semicolon now here be using a for each loop and getting the data but here we are going to display in a form so what we have to do here is similar way if condition give if condition and tell if this query is running fine then for each you can use while also for each dollar fetch query run as dollar row so let's echo and tell dollar row of name semicolon so this is the if part where the condition if the condition meets okay so if not will be in the else part and here we are just going to echo and tell no record found let us go reload this and check go back reload and click on user 7 so here i am getting the name on top but this i need inside this form so for that what you have to do is comment this line of code divide the php and here you have card body right cut this card body paste it here just format the document now to get the data inside form what you have to give is add a value attribute and inside this open close php here you have echo right just copy paste it now go reload you have got the name inside form similar way do it for mobile number and email as well let's quickly do that let us copy from here itself the value attribute paste it for email and mobile number and change this to phone and email now let's go reload we have got in here we have to get the email so here if you see in place of email we have mobile number and in place of mobile we have email so that is what the clash here we are getting in place of email we are getting this but in place of mobile number we are not getting the email that is because here the type is number so it will accept only number it will not accept any kind of text so for now let us make this to text and later on we will change after editing and now let us go reload so we are getting so here now the actual change is that i want number here and email to be here right 
so how to do that and update the data we'll see how to do that in the next video i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt or suggestion do let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you guys in the next video